The next step is we progress down towards the foot because we started from the head, the head organs, and now we go down along the foot and we observe and map the rest. Now here is the line of the shoulders and I mean the shoulder muscles. And since this is the neck, it naturally continues. Here we can find a lot of sensitivities in people when we press because so many of us carry so much stress in our shoulders. So when we really press nicely that area, people are really sensitive, but then after a minute or so, they start to relax and they really feel that so much, like as if so much burden has been taken off their shoulders. The real shoulder joint is located here. This is the reflex of the shoulder joint. This part will be the upper back, the point in which the upper back connects to the neck. So with our thumb, we will look for here the bone. We can find really here the good bone. And this is where the thyroid gland is located. Now it's a very important spot, especially in our time and age, because again, so much stress is, is concentrated and uh, affects the thyroid gland or vice versa. We never know. So this, all this, we will, we will later learn how to really work this area as a thyroid gland. The next step is we have here the right foot in our hand. So we will find here and later on we'll go to the top of the foot. We'll find here the liver. The liver is a big organ. And we'll find here the liver. It's not only here, but this is the main spot for the reflex of the liver. Now, this here will be the gallbladder. So here we have the gallbladder. The gallbladder takes all the secretes from the liver. So it is very important to remember that they are connected. But the better place to get the gallbladder, and this is something we'll talk about it later, is from the top part of the foot. Now we'll go on and see that here we have the stomach. Also a very, very important organ whenever we talk about stress or eating fast or eating disorders or stomach pain or nausea, all kinds of. So we have here the stomach and many times if a person is after a meal, we will feel that it's like as if we find grains in, in that area when we massage it or like as if it's a little hard there. Don't uh, be alert, alarmed. Then we have here this part and here. Here this will be an intersection, a junction, actually between the gallbladder reflex, even though it's not connected here on our chart, the gallbladder reflex, the pancreas, and the duodenum. This is a very important spot to 
touch and remember when when we treat people because it is also a place where so much that reflects so much stress or indigestion so it is a very important spot here we have the adrenal gland and the adrenal gland sits on top of the kidney very important organs very important to remember later on when we start to really apply our reflexology I will emphasize these points clearly from the kidney we have a line that runs to the bladder the urine bladder this is the line that runs to the urine bladder and we have here the urine bladder here across we have it is the low reflex of the lower back however exactly at the same place runs also the colon reflex and it comes from the large intestine here runs the large intestine inside is the small intestine okay along this line from here from the neck down there is a very very clear ridge that runs all the way down uh, down all the way and this is the spine we will find that ridge to be also very interesting when when we treat even inner organs we can really see how they are related to the spine many times when we are in pain for example stomach ache or or even feeling of chest pain or pressure in this chest it's not always right away a heart attack many times we can find that the pressure or the the um, the in infliction or the or the tension comes from the spine and when we press the spine right away the stomach ache uh, release reliefs or right away the pressure and the and the the chest just disappears so it is a very very important organ all along the spine so here we have the lower back we have the spine and we have the large intestines we have the small intestines we have the kidney the urine tract the bladder the adrenal stomach this is the duodenum and here we find the pancreas and that's for now